It's been such a long award season, and 1917 has had such a wonderful run. So have you had any favorite conversations or run-ins with your fellow nominees? Um, actually, weirdly, the best and strangest thing happened to me after the Golden Globes. After we won Best Picture, I got separated from the rest of the boys, and I found myself in a kitchen, I think in like the Hollywood Hilton, with the entire cast of Succession, <laughs> which was pretty weird. One of my favorite shows on TV, and I was like just kind of sitting there. It was very, very odd. Um, but, uh, yeah, of course I did. I actually, Brian Cox was in Penny Dreadful when I wrote on it. So I was like, hi, and he was like, I remember you. And I was like, I look much better now because someone did hair and makeup for me. <laughs> if you could have visited the set for another Oscar-nominated movie, what would it be and why? Oh, that's such a tough one. Actually, I'd love to go to Jojo Rabbit's set, just because I know Tyke a little bit, and I think he would probably be a lot of fun. I think that'd be a really fun set to be on, and I hear he pumps music in, which I love. I just dance around in the background, Tom's and Mackenzie and me, you know. <laughs> and, you know, when all of this is over tomorrow, when the award season is finally done, what are you going to be doing to decompress and relax? Well, I've got a couple of meetings because I'm in, I'm over, you know, the other side of the pond. Uh, and then uh, Wednesday night I get back to London. I'm going to watch a cut of Edgar Wright's new film that I wrote with him. And then I'm going to go to bed for one week. <laughs> one whole week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and congratulations and I hope you get to relax.